Well, hello and welcome back to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. We are here to take a look at a ship I never took a look at before. This is the Auxilium Battle Cruiser. It's a very intimidating death block. But we will be looking at this thing a little closer, and I haven't examined this uh, myself at all before so you know it's pretty interesting anyways you can see it's a very block shaped ship um, but it has some pretty cool detail around here so inside the ship what do we might expect here you might expect only death blocks which there are plenty of but we also have some good share fire of interior now this is also death blocks now let's see here so this is death block systems it's had decorated interior this one will be easier to fix when we get a new system i believe in power system i mean Shields shielding center. Okay, so we have shield center with a button. I wonder what this button does. Heh. Oh well. Pretty cool. Just huge areas of space dedicated to that. So we have maintenance accesses. Oh wait, what is this? Super turret. Oh, this oh that's a pretty big that is a pretty a pretty big turret indeed <laughs> that's huge super turret oh well it is huge oh well other than that we have huge maintenance paths with shields and stuff like that uh, well, if we go on here, we have another turret. So it seems that we actually have access shaft to the turrets, which is something I highly enjoy. Well, oh, it's this sectionized uh, interior is easy to get lost in. All right, so the next section is uh, hydraulic center. Well, why not? Movable structures. Okay. Ah, I see. And there we have the mass enhancers. I see. Oops. Oh, and here we have ships to be launched. Let's see if we can find a button for that. Launch left ship. So, automated rails, which lets us launch this beautiful little vessel here. It looks pretty cool. Well, that's nice. We could also park it, but... Uh... Oh, well. uh, it's, you know, the regular doors here, but they actually look pretty good, so I mean, why not? Well, then we have, let's see the bottom floor here. We have more ships to launch, interesting. Next space is a pretty nice looking place with jump drives, I guess. Um, this looks quite intimidating. And it's the same structure, yeah? Okay, cool. And this, oh, this is the jump drive, never mind. Like, the interiors are, in some places, really, really cool. It's just, like, it's just huge. And we even have some green stuff in the roof. This looks pretty nice, actually. Is this a door? Oh, that's turret access, naturally. I see, I see, I see. And then we go on to a big, empty room. 
expansion space for living quarter. <laughs> the creator of this ship has already spent too, way too much time on his interior of his past projects, I see. We also have a button with lightning, nice. Well, uh, I do admit that the interior on some places feel a bit half done, you know, it's a... Uh, they are not as detailed as I would prefer, but well, this room is detailed though. Laser rings, and uh, we have lots of servers and stuff like that. And this is 10 rounding missiles. Well, we should be able to access everything from within the ship. So, black crystal arm, whoops. And this is ah, uh, we have some. This is pretty awesome, actually. We can open some windows to have a little peek. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I want to catch that and the front at the same time. Oh well. I never do slight backwards side shots so this will be our first screenshot for that oh, well anyways let's check out the systems of this vessel let's try to crash this game yeah. so it's 500,000 blocks it looks bigger than it is because most people big more build more compactly and this has lots of big interior spaces it's not like tunneling around it's like huge blocks so Let's uh, wait for the. Uh, did it crash? No, no. Okay, let's click on the rail system collective. Oh, yeah. Reset all turrets and activate all AI turrets. Great. We can activate all docked AI. I usually spam the buttons and it works better, usually. Okay, what do we have for uh, cams? Side cam, side cam, front cam. Or other front cam, front cam, nice. So lots of buttons here. Okay, so we have pan through effect, twenty five percent pan through, and uh, what is this? Piercing effect, and that's uh, mandatory for all ships that are armor tanks and I guess this might be an armor tank I want to find out though so this stick on little cannon is of course not that if we remove here what do we have glass this is like a tin can this is not the armor tank well, I guess the system helps, but, uh, well, they do help, but you usually use this with heavier uh, configurations. And we also have overdrive, 50%. The top speed is 131, which is pretty fast. I mean, it's light, you know, it's pretty spacious, this build. Overdrive glow does that mean? I probably want to check the engines for the overdrive glow. Okay, never mind. Oh wait. Ah, here we have the overdrive glow. I see, that's nice. Okay, so next, more systems. Engines on and off. <laughs> then we need to go back here. I wish you could go faster with a flying mode. Okay, we can turn off the engines. <laughs> I mean, why not? Core room shutters. Oh, I see. It's those one. And they're cool. I love them. Now we open to the other side so we can see outside. Fancy. And we have a scanner. We have the crazy lounge fighter button. Okay, safety switch. No, oh shit. It's 10 missile shot. Never mind. Uh, ooh. 
and now it spams missile forwards, which is cool. Which is cool. And they actually take huge amounts of power, so they're actually a system. So let's get them back here. Then we have automatic cannon fire. Like this, we can fire, and we have a lock on missile, another lock on missile up here. We have long range beams, which are siege beams, they're pretty heavy. Oh well, we'll do a little test of the. What to say? Okay. Oh wait, did I spawn it? Now spawn ships. Okay, load. Okay. So we want to see the turrets work. And of course only one turret can fire at a time. So whoa, we are lagging. So we just want to line this up sideways. So all the six turret can work. I guess this is how you work. And this is, this is probably how you roll with the auxilium. look pretty powerful you know the flash scales after the damage done so if they look kind of powerful they're probably kind of powerful well this lags a bit though so we'll just escape to the next system and spawn a little we can spawn itself actually like that just to test out the weapons. Okay, so what do we have? We could kill the shields with one blast of the siege beam. And is that impressive or not? The shields are 4 million. Okay, that's pretty cool. They are a valid system. Then what do we have then? We have the machine gun thing. They're working at the shields now. Oh, Damn, the shield, they did a good job, they did a good job, the shield killers, the siege beam shield killers. Now then, oh actually they can't, can't, okay cool, we need to run the shield killers again, and go with some of the lock on missiles directly after, we can just spam them like this, okay and then we totally should fire our missile Okay, and these are automatic, so we just j aim at the general direction of the enemy. And indeed, I think power died, but it did some good damage until power died. It, do we have auxiliary power on this? We don't. Okay, so let's deactivate power consuming systems here. Maybe we can be able to afford firing the 10 shot missiles. Perhaps. Oh well. Oh no. Not really. But they do good damage. Very good damage. We can probably park our little vessel here and just have a check. Yeah, this walkway looks great. I kind of like this walkway. It's a nice design of a walkway. It's simple but effective. So, anyways, where are our, where are our enemies now? Just want to get a little bit closer here to check out. You see the huge craters it did. The you know to have a, such a system that automatically fire missiles forward isn't very useful, but um, it's cool.
Oh well. Nice ship. I like it. It's a bit blocky. Um, there are many empty spaces inside, so it feels like one built a hull and then spawned a few blocks and made some interior, kind of. But, I mean, it, it's still a very good ship. It's interesting block design though, but one thing that you have to give the Auxilium is that when the power update comes out, this ship will be pretty easy to fix. <laughs> Anyways, that's that for this time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and well, I want to say thanks for. I think thanks to everyone that's watching this video, and um, also please comment and uh, subscribe for future videos. I want to have a special thanks to. Tram, Steve Tram, our Patreon, and to all the people that always comment on the videos. So, anyways, I'll see you around. Join us at Discord. Well, anyways, Jimmy signing out.